Hello everybody, this is PiggyMiner525 and welcome back to another Minecraft Top 5 video. My last one got quite a lot of likes, so I decided I would make another one. And this time, it is Top 5 New Mistakes Commonly Made in Minecraft. Disclaimer, I have made these a lot. So just saying. Number 5. Sometimes people can be a bit ambitious on their first night in Minecraft. I might see some mobs and decide to attack them with... Probably just a wooden sword, or a stone one, which is not a very good idea because you're likely to die a horrible, horrible death. Number four. Usually, people already know about this when they're going into Minecraft, but if they don't, then they will have no idea what a creeper is. And that's why number four is not knowing that creepers blow up, because I have made that mistake. I've went up to a creeper, said hello to it, and it's blown up my face and I've died. So yeah, don't do that. Number three. This is another one that most people going into Minecraft already know, but just in case they don't, they usually make this mistake. Say, for example, they're mining, and then they dig up a bit, and either sand or gravel falls on them, causing them to die. Yeah. Sa they I don't understand why they're the only blocks in Minecraft that have gravity, but that's just how it is. Number two. At the second place spot is activating the traps in desert temples and jungle temples. Now I made this mistake not too long ago and I hate myself for it. I basically was very careful in going into a jungle, a desert temple and I was really careful not to step on the pressure plate. But stupid old me did and I died and I lost everything. And it was really far away from my house and by the time I got back there my stuff had despawned. This one, did you say that? Anyway, it was so annoying. I hated it. So yeah, don't do that. Number one. Drum roll, please. And the number one new mistake in Minecraft is going unprepared to the nether. Yeah, a lot of people go without armor or with leather armor or something like that, without a bow and stuff like that. And there's ghasts. And there is blaze, and there is horrible things like that. So you really should come very prepared for the nether, because it is a dangerous place. Maybe even with some fire protection armour, that'd be good. And a bow, because with one fully drawn, drawn arrow, you can kill a ghast. So yeah, that is number one. So yeah, we've now reached the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and leave a comment if you did enjoy. And leave a like for more top fives and maybe even top tens coming soon in the near future. Anyway, I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.